Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another challenge today. What we're going to got is the I'm on fire challenge and the propane challenge. And we're going to do an added bonus of the 45 therapy challenge as well. So we're gonna, at the start we're going to talk to Dr. Lafayette there. Well, not talk to him, but just uh, start off his conversation. And we're going to fast forward through this part. It's because we're going to need to get the waiter's outfit. So it does require a lot of waiting time. So I've quickened it up for you a bit, so just to save you time. So that's the waiter there. So we're going to need to take his outfit. So... Once you get down here and you're a competent, you can take his outfit. You want to wait for the woman to get past you first, and then you want to subdue him. The waiter, not the woman. And luckily there's a, a bin right next to him, or a trash can, or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to take his disguise. And now we're going to need some rat poison, so we're going to head inside the uh, ice cream shop. I don't know what they call it in Italy, something begin with G, I can't, the word I can't sp uh, pronounce, but uh, nevertheless, we're going to pick up the rat poison here. You want to watch out for these two waiters, because they do spot you through your disguise, so we're going to head back outside and poison this bastard's coffee. Because he gave us a really poor tip earlier. If you haven't guessed already, what we're going to need is his, his, his outfit. For this challenge so he's gonna sit down now and take a bit of a sip of his coffee he's gonna think something's a bit strange and takes tastes a bit off but instead of complaining and trying to get his money back he has some pain in his stomach and is gonna go be a little bit sick Seriously experiencing those cramps right now, so what we're going to do is uh, follow him to the bathroom. So again, we're going to speed this up a little bit because obviously uh, it's kind of obvious what you're going to need to do from this point is obviously follow him. So we're going to speed this up because we don't want to have you waiting around for no reason. Also, we're going to speed it up, speed up, speed it up, speed it up. Not too fast, just speed it up a little bit. I'm going to meet our old friend, the bodyguards, are just hanging around in the uh, bathroom area again. Showing each other their pictures of their penis. And we're going to do, show, shut this uh, door, make sure it's closed, and then you want to do Dr. Lafayette. Don't uh, drown him. I know how tempting it is, trust me. Uh, so you want to take his disguise and then dump his body in this dumpster right here. And now we're going to head our way to the mansion. Completely safe at this point, no one will spot you through this disguise. So just want to head over here. You're gonna get frisked, and at this point, I realized that I had a gun on me. So, if you do have a gun, you want to drop it because they will uh, feel it through your clothing. Personally, I think this guy just wants to get a bit of uh, touchy feely all over you. Look at that, gets a bit close. Right between the legs there, there, see, he had a bit of a crutch grab there, I saw that. So at this point we're going to just run to the main entrance, into the doorway, I'm going to talk to the butler. So if you already know where his uh, resting area is, you can just head your way up there and uh, run past him, but we're going to follow him for a little bit. Silvio Caruso's got a psychiatrist in there because he's got a bit of a guilty conscience about what he did to his mother. Feeling a bit sorry for himself. So at this point I'm just going to run past him because uh, I've got a bit bored of waiting. He, he walks way too slow. Nice so it's day. just in here. I'm just going to wait for Sylvia Carrillo. So at this point um, he's going to come in and he's going to talk to Lafayette. Well, not Lafayette, but Mr. 47. And he's going to have a very, 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 very long conversation with him. So uh, just to shorten this down, again we're going to speed it up. 
Obviously, in your playthrough, you can listen to the whole conversation if you are interested. But we're going to activate the chipmunk mode. It sounds like there's one of those telephone conversations you have on the uh, another Flintstones when they have the telephone conversation. <laughs> it sounds just like the same. So this is times four fast forwarding and it's still a very long conversation. He's got a lot to say. You can use, uh, you can smother him at this point and get the catharsis uh, challenge completed if you want to. But this is not what we're going for at, at this point in time. So what we're going to do is going to hit play at this point. Because it's just wrapping up the conversation. So once the conversation's over, I'm gonna you're gonna need to get up. I'm gonna head into the attic because now Sylvia Cruz is feeling a bit sorry for himself and he's gonna be a little bit upset and he's gonna have a little bit of a conversation with uh, Francesca, and that's where we're gonna take advantage of that opportunity, and that's where we're gonna complete our challenges, guys. So we just wanna head up the stairs here into the attic. And you want to pick up the propane tank, which is left, just just to the left of the chute here. And you want to wait here for a second. Look on your mini map and uh, wait for Francesca to be right close to Silvio. And then you're going to dump the propane tank right into the chute here. So just got to time it perfectly. When you think the time is right, just uh, throw that in there. So obviously he had a curry last night and he farted and then it just went boom. So that will unlock the propane challenge right there completed. I'm just going to wait for the uh, Arm on Fire challenge to pop up. And then we're going to go in ahead and show you the bonus clip. I'm going to put it in there. So there you go, that's the Arm on Fire challenge. I don't know, don't really know the reason why barbecue season challenge isn't completed as well. Because technically it should. But uh, it didn't pop up for me unfortunately. So we're going to head go ahead and move on to this next part here so we want to rewind it back to a previous uh, auto save which would be on the stairs there so instead of going in the room what we're going to do is going to pick up uh, a gun which is a pistol and it's in the security room just here through this window and this is obviously to complete the 45 therapy challenge so actually at this point I forgot where the gun is I knew it was in this room but there it is <laughs> I knew it was in this room then I forgot my brain, my br my brain went blank. <laughs> I think you get that when you will twist your words up. My brain went blank. There you go. That's the words. So when we pick up the gun, we're going to head back into the room where we were supposed to be originally in. And then when Caruso comes in, you're going to wait for him to lay down. And whenever you're ready, does someone want to pull out your gun and introduce him to your bullets? At this point, I'm just going to wait for him to lay down before I'm ready. So when you're ready, again, like I said, pull out your gun and just like shoot him in the head. At this point, uh, several bodyguards are going to come into the room. So I'm just going to duck behind his sofa here. But that will complete the 45 therapy challenge. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if, it, and if you did, please drop a like. And if you're new, please subscribe for new content. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.